Granny Ricky here and I'm so happy to see you waiting for our new story. Have you ever heard of the Big Five? Those are the Big Five most dangerous animals in Africa. When people go on safari, they all hope to see the Big Five. It's the leopard, the lion, the rhino, the buffalo and the elephant. But today our story is called The Ugly Five. The Ugly Five is written by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Morning had dawned on the African plain. The lion lay grooming his glorious mane. The kudu looked cool and the rhino looked fine. The bright pink flamingo looked simply divine. The zebra looked graceful. The leopard looked great. Oh, what a picture of beauty. But wait. Who is this creature so ugly and weird with her spindly legs and her gingery beard? With her big chunky chest and her skinny behind, to say she looks plain would be really quite kind. It's the wildebeest. Slowly she ambled along, trampling the grasses and singing this song. I'm the ugly one, I'm the ugly one, I'm the ugliest animal under the sun. My ungainly appearance is second to none. I'm the ugly one, I'm the ugly one. But here's someone uglier than me. Who can this strange looking specimen be? How do you do? I'm the spotted hyena. Who could be uglier? Who could look meaner? My mane is all spiky, my skin is all spotty, no other creature could look quite so grotty. My voice is a mixture of giggles and groans, and I like nothing better than crunching on bones. I must be the ugliest beast in the scrub. Then the wildebeest shouted, Hooray! Join the club! The two ugly animals ambled along, kicking the dust up and singing this song. We're the ugly two, we're the ugly two. We wouldn't win prizes for beauty, it's true. You'll see nothing worse if you go to the zoo. We're the ugly two, we're the ugly two. But who is this hideous bird we can see, perched on a branch of the powder puff tree? I'm the leopard-faced vulture. I'm ugly and bald. No wonder that everyone looks so appalled. I have flaps on my face that are all wrinkled and pink. My beak is gigantic and, what's more, I stink. At mealtimes, my habits are really quite vile. I much prefer food that's been dead for a while. I'm clearly a lot more revolting than you. Then the other two shouted, Bravo! Join the queue! The three ugly animals ambled along, splashing through the water and singing this song. We're the ugly three, we're the ugly three, the ugliest beasts that you're likely to see. You wouldn't be tempted to ask us for tea. We're the ugly three, we're the ugly three. But who is this animal having a role in the bubbling mud of the watering hole? Hello, I'm the warthog, as ugly as sin, with two pairs of tusks and a bristly chin. My tail stands on end and my body is dumpy. 
my head has too big. My head is too big and my skin is too bumpy. People are shocked by my deafening snorts and my face that is covered in horrible warts. I'm the worst looking creature from here to Japan. Then the other three shouted, Yippee! Join the clan! The four ugly animals ambled along, scaring the starlings and singing this song. We're the ugly four, we're the ugly four. We're grisly and gruesome and hard to ignore. Take just one look and your eyes will feel sore. We're the ugly four, we're the ugly four. But who is this terrible frump, raiding the rubbish bins down by the dump? I'm the marabou stork and I think you'll agree that no other bird looks as dreadful as me. My wings are enormous. I'm hunched and I'm gangly and look at my throat pouch. It's all dingle, dingly dangly. My legs, long and skinny, are covered in poo. And I'll eat almost anything, even a shoe. I'm a grouchy old grump. I'm a horrible slob. Then the other four shouted, Yoo-hoo! Join the mob! So the five ugly animals ambled along, casting long shadows and singing this song. We're the ugly five, we're the ugly five. Everyone flees when they see us arrive. How can such hideous creatures survive? We're the ugly five, we're the ugly five. But stop! Just a minute, be quiet. Who are these? Peeping from burrows and hiding in trees. Hello, we're your babies. You give us our food and help cheer us up when we're in a bad mood. You clean us and preen us and pick out our nits. And we want you to know that we love you to bits. We love all your spots and your warts and your bristles, your grunts and your groans and your hoots and your whistles. We really don't think you look ugly at all. You're beauties, you're bombshells, the belle of the ball. You're kind and you're cuddly, you're brave and you're strong. And that is our reason for singing this song. You're the lovely five, you're the lovely five. You're sweeter than honey from bees in a hive. You're quite the most beautiful creatures alive. You're the lovely five, you're the lovely five. And there they all are, the ugly five with their babies. And of course the babies think that their mothers and fathers are just the most beautiful creatures alive. Look at the wildebeest with the baby wildebeest. And there's the warthog with the little warthogs running around. And the marabou stork with the little storks. And the spotted hyena with the little hyena pups on the ground. And up here is the lapid faced vulture and the little vultures perched up in the tree. I really, really, really enjoyed that story. I do love the animals of Africa and I'm happy to learn about the ugly five. Let's have a look at the other animals. Here are the pictures of the big five. The big five are the lion, the leopard, the rhino, the buffalo and the elephant. And then you get what's called the little five, which is the buffalo weaver, the leopard tortoise, the ant lion, the rhino beetle and the elephant shrew. And then these are called the shy five, 
because you don't often see them. Usually they're only out and about at night. First is the aardvark, then the porcupine, then the aardwolf, and the meerkat, and the bat-eared fox. And last of all is the story of the ugly five. We've just read the leopard-faced vulture, the spotted hyena, the wildebeest, the marabou stork, and the warthog. I don't really think they're ugly at all. All animals are very, very beautiful in their own special way. And, just like their babies said, to the babies, the parents are the most beautiful creatures on earth. I'm going to say goodbye now, but before you go, please will you subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get notifications of our next story. Bye-bye, Serena. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon. Mwah.